<laughs> I don't even know what to say. But this is cool, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't wait for warmer weather. It is March 22nd in North Carolina. And as you can see, I mean, even though I'm in shorts, it's still kind of cold. It's probably like 59 degrees out here. And uh, cloudy. Yeah, clouds. We've had some rough weather this year. I'm ready for some... I'm ready for some warm, spring-like. No, I'll just pass spring, go straight to summer, and have some boat-like boating weather. I am so ready for it. Me too. Aren't you? I'm so ready. Okay. So since I look like a total disaster without a hat, I've got to get my hat on. So let me get my hat on. There we go. I look much better with the hat. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back outside here. You go outside, boy? Let's go. Come on. Let's get all the way. Roscoe loves being outside. He loves to play. Roscoe, you want to play? You want a toy? Give me a toy. He loves, he loves tug of war. Come on. Let's go play tug of war. Come on. Let's go to the boat. Tug of war? Yeah, boy. Tug of war? Come on. Come on, tug. Pull. Pull. Hey, he loves to play. He wears me out. Play. Come on. Play, Roscoe. Play. Play. Come on, Roscoe. Play. Pull. No, he's playing. I ain't got to him to play. He wants to play. I don't want to play. <laughs> Come on, Roscoe. Oh, gosh. He's a strong dog. You a big boy. Big dog. Strong. Look at them teeth. I would hate to be on the business end of them teeth, I tell you. That would not be good. No. <laughs> no. You don't want to be on the business end of that, of that dog right there. Let me tell you what, guys. But anyway. So. All right. I got something really cool to show you guys today. Um, you know, at the No Grip channel here, I like to show mostly car content, Hellcat content. Um, but typically I come across something that's um, really cool. And this by far is probably um, one of the coolest things I've ever purchased for any of my toys. Okay, so as you guys know, I've got quite a few toys. Um, we do the boating thing. We do the jacked up truck thing. We do the RV and thing, um, you know, stuff like that. So we live that fun. But um, I recently contacted, um, okay, wait a minute. Let me back up. So last year I purchased a, uh, a Chaparral um, 23 SSI with a 250 horsepower. Um, it's got the V6 in it. Yeah, I know it's not a V8, okay? You know, people don't give me crap about that, but it's okay. Um, basically, they figured out how to get more horsepower out of a V6 versus a V8. I mean, these boats burn enough of gas as it is. But anyway, so we got the Chaparral. Um, I also have a an older Mastercraft. Um, it's a it's a 93 model Mastercraft. It's, you know, 28 years old. It's just, it's just not big enough for me and the wife and, you know, the kids or anybody else we take on the boat. So, basically, to make a long story short, we sold our pontoon boat last year when the boating market was super hot. I mean, like, I put the thing on the, on the marketplace, and in one day, it was sold. Um, that's how quick I sold that boat. So, I went a few months, and I said, you know what? There's no way I can go the next year, which is now 2021, without a boat. <laughs> So I started looking for a boat, and uh, <laughs> boats are hard to find. Let's just say that. COVID has messed everything up with boats. So I was lucky enough to find a 2021 Chaparral 23 SSI. And the only thing that was lacking with this boat was, well, let me back up a minute. The trailer, the trailer is an aluminum trailer, tandem axle trailer, disc brake, spare tire. I mean, it's a nice trailer. And the trailer is manufactured by a company called Coyote Manufacturing, which is in Nashville, Georgia. And if you guys don't know, 
Chaparral boats are also manufactured in, guess where? Nashville, Georgia. So, obviously the trailers, you know, they build the trailers for the boats and they are, they're pretty much made to fit, you know, the particular boat you purchase from Chaparral. At any rate, the only thing this trailer was missing was a way to enter the boat while the boat was on the trailer, okay? So, I did some research and I, you know, I was on social media and I came across this post where somebody had purchased a, a stepladder for their trailer. And so, I called those guys up at Coyote Manufacturing and said, hey look, I understand you guys have this ladder, um, you know, that goes onto the front of the uh, trailer. And I said, I'm interested in that. You know, what do you guys got? The guy said, hey, we have, uh, we've got two different kinds. We have a ladder that has our handrail and ladder doesn't have a handrail. We can powder coat it, black or white, whatever you want. So to make a long story short, I ended up getting a, a super awesome. I mean, this thing, this ladder is way cool. I mean, it's the safest way, the best way to enter your boat while it's on the trailer. And so what I ended up with was this guy right here. This is the custom-made Coyote trailer um, step ladder with a handrail. And it's just, I put this thing on today and it's the most awesome thing ever. I mean, I could have went with a white powder coat or I could have went with a, I think he said a gloss black or a flat black and I kind of thought about it. I said, well, you know what? The boat itself is, is black. Even though it's an aluminum trailer, and I mean, I love the trailer, the rim package, everything's great on this trailer. It's awesome to tow, it tows great. But I wanted the black look because to me, it just, it matches the boat so good. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's a beautiful thing. And so I just got this thing installed today. I called those guys up, you know, like two weeks later. I mean, I'm sorry, two weeks ago. And they pretty much custom fabricated this step ladder for me in about two weeks. I mean, that was some just just awesome. And uh, I give thanks to those guys, man. I mean, it was it was on the expensive side. I don't, you know, it was I think the price was like four eighty five, four seventy five for the non powder coated version. Um, I wanted to do the powder coat so it would match the boat, and I think it just looks awesome. I think I ended up giving it was five hundred twenty five bucks for the for the whole thing, but I mean, man, you just dude, you look at the welds on the thing. I mean, I mean, it, I'm sorry, it took like it. This guy, he, I mean, he's an awesome welder. Look at all the welds you have on this thing. It's no, you're not gonna get a ladder like this. You know, no step ladder, no, no ladder from anywhere else to get up into your boat. This is, this is the way to go. I mean, I usually, I'm not, you know, I'm not sponsored by Coyote trailers or Shaper or nothing. I just wanted to put this out here for you guys to show you what's available if you have a newer model Chaparral with a Coyote trailer. Um, you know, it's a tandem axle. 23 foot boat it's probably about a 25 or 26 foot trailer it's a long trailer i mean this thing's beefy but if you have no way to get into your boat i the, in my opinion this is the best way to go um i mean i'm in a barn here but let me show you if we put one foot here one foot there one foot there one foot there you're in your boat it's that simple you have a safety handrail to hang on to you're not going to fall you hang on to that handrail and you're good. Um, so I just want to thank Cody, Cody Manufacturing so much for offering this, uh, this beautiful piece of fabricated aluminum powder coated piece to me so I could purchase it. But anyway, as always guys, if you, if you like my content, um, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. Um, I don't have much time to make YouTube videos, but I, I try in my spare time to uh, give you guys uh, whatever content I can. If you like it, let me know. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.